All right, everybody. I'd like for you to uh, meet my friend Rod Dunn from Colorado Springs. Uh, he came to me uh, not too long ago and, and said uh, uh, the doctors have given me uh, 90 days to six months to live. Uh, I had lymphoma cancer and I was going to go through some serious, uh, very expensive treatments. And, uh, and I wanted to personally introduce you to Rod. So, Rod, uh, welcome. Let me just uh, see you again, Stan. Share with us what happened. Well, what you. happened was is I woke up one morning, December the 17th of 09, and I had a big knot on my neck here, and I thought it was an infection from my tooth. And I go to my doctor the next day, and she looked at me and asked me what was that. And I said, it's an infection from my tooth. And she said, no, it's not. And she said, put your shirt back on and go to the hospital. And I said, why? She says, I can't tell you. So I put my shirt on and she had Dr. Murphy meet me at the hospital. And he did the same thing. He did me a <clears throat> CAT scan. And after the CAT scan was over, he said, well, you have what they call non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. And you got six months to live. I said, no, what are we gonna do? He said, well, we're gonna start chemotherapy. And I said, what is that? I had never had cancer. Nobody in my family had cancer. So I called my daughter that night and told her what was going on, and my wife had just passed away with uh, diabetes and uh, a uh, subdural hematoma. And she had been on chemo for several years, and she, my daughter said, you're going to be real sick, so she's going to come be with me to take care of me. So she got up there, and I spent five hours in the chair doing chemo, and after the chemo was over, uh, I had taken my zinc pill that morning. and. I, got, I woke up and I told my daughter, I says, so now what? She says, well, aren't you sick? And I says, no, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. She says, you can't be hungry. You're sick. I said, no, I'm not. So the doctor came over to release me and he did the same thing. And so we went and had a dinner. And after that, I was in chemo now for every 26 days for three years. And in that three years, my, my tumors went from golf ball size in my neck, in my chest, in my stomach, in my groin, and they had disappeared in that three year period of time. And during that time I had no sickness uh, taking chemo except for one day when I didn't take my zinc pill and I had to sit there for about an hour and a half recuperating like everybody else. And of course, out of all the people in my group, there was like 35 of us in there, off and on, depends upon what day. But uh, all the rest of them that had non-Hodgkins have all died because uh, it's the most serious and I was at stage four and he had given me that six months to live and he didn't understand why I did but he he authorized me to continue using my global blend and my zinc pill of course I couldn't share it with anybody except the nurses and they all take it now but uh, it's all gone now my remission is complete and I'm supposedly cancer free you know, I remember in the early days when uh, you called me up and said, you know, they're giving me 90 days to six months to live. Yeah. Uh, and I just wanted to thank you for some of your friendship and your nutritional coaching. And I said, well, Rod, you know what? I'm not a doctor, but I am a nutritionist. I am a herbalist. And this is what I would do if it were me. I would drink so much Global Blend that I could feel my back teeth float and keep taking the zing for my attitude. And I wanted everybody to know that uh, it was not long after that, really, that Rod came on the Zingular Morning Show and thanked all of us, made me cry like a baby. Yeah. Uh, made, you know, just the stories that we hear. And, Rod, I'm so proud of you. And I'm kind of glad you hung around with I'm us. I'm glad, too. He signed up uh, all the doctors, the nurses, and everybody else, but he wasn't allowed to talk to the other patients. And, no, unfortunately, a lot of them are gone now. And so I'm hoping that what we know here now, uh, we can build you a business and change the world. I Make everybody healthy. I think that's what's going to happen. I've got a lot of people I'm talking to right now that are excited about coming back on board. Very good. Thank you, Ron. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan.